Hello, friends. We're chatting with Mr. Dylan Vo, the founder of Brilliant Print, probably one of Singapore's largest canvas printing companies. If you've never heard of it, you should. It's probably one of the most affordable ways to get your photographs onto large canvases. And if you've ever tried it, you'll instantly become addicted to canvas printing. Hello, Dylan. Hi, David. How are you? Fabulous. As you can see, it's Aloha. I'm in Hawaii. This is not Bedok. And I'm in Singapore. <laughs> yeah, it's my first time Zooming, so um, I, 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 I wish I was up to scratch and was able to do a background like you. The last time we, talk, we talked was literally 10 years ago when I was running the uh, Best Denki magazine. Mm -hmm. Let's tell people how you started. Um, Brilliant Prince um, was a brainchild of my best friend. We, we grew up together since preschool. Um, we studied business, um, we both did our own family business afterwards. Um, and he started Brilliant Prince um, about 16 years now. Um, at that time I was a banker um, and then I was kind of bored of what I was doing. An opportunity came up to come to Singapore to do a bit of research. Um, and at that time it was the wedding photography and that was the market that we were aiming for. Um, there was, a, I guess, an opportunity and, and a need. Um, we met with 40 photographers over three days. And the response was very good. Um, so I quit my job and I came to Singapore. In that time, you know, there's been many changes in Singapore and the business has expanded and diverse um, in what we diversified in what we offer. Um, and it's been an interesting ride, to say the least. Um, but happy to be here after 11 years and you know, to ride all the ways and all the changes in Singapore. Yeah. Um, yeah. Amazing. And you haven't changed. Uh, how big is it in Australia? How big the, the company? Yes. Uh, we're about 30 staff members there now. Um, in Singapore, we're about 10, 11, 11 and a half, 10 and a half. Um, yep. And we have a back office that supports us, and they're based in the Philippines. So a lot of our editing, um, some of our um, bookkeeping, um, and just some print work is done in the Philippines. That's right. Um, we should also mention that your website is brilliantprint.com.sg. That's correct, and AU for our Australian um, viewers as well. Right, so um, let's tell people about canvas prints. What is, what is a canvas print? Okay, um, the canvas print um, is, would be our most popular product. It would make up 60% of our revenue. Um, we have up to 15 different products now. Um, I'll touch base on that later on, but we'll talk about the canvas print, and I, I've been up, uh, actually a, a um, sample here with me I and mean, we're at home obviously so I've got a few prints in my own house um it's the same in Australia where the chef doesn't cook at home but yeah um, this chef is at home because <laughs> I can't stand seeing bare walls so you know and not many people come through my house but you know for me I, I spend a lot of time at home so I've, I've got to make it pleasant for myself and, and right you know. so in the old days you have a blank canvas and you, you kind of just paint um, with technology nowadays, you, know, you have, if you have a digital file of any sort, whether that be a graphic art or whether that be um, text or even um, a photo um, with the technology. Now we, we can print that onto to, to canvas. So the, the process is, um, I guess, large format printing, um, it's inject printing. Um, it's very refined. Um, then it squirts onto the, the canvas as such. And then it, it dries, the, the, the water evaporates and you're left with a, um, I guess, a, a dye, a um, mm. colour dye. Yeah. And, and that's the, 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 the ink on canvas. Now, for Brilliant Prints, we take it a step further and we add the special coating, which is the, the lamination process. Yeah. Um, and that protects the, the canvas for a, long, a longer period. Um, to give an example, our, our canvas print, we, we grade that for 75 years. Um, that's independently tested. Um, all the elements within our canvas prints are, I guess, museum grade, um, and that's what gets us into the museums. Um, so what I mean by that is, you know, if I have a project or a, a gallery or an exhibition for, for any, anything that requires that museum grade um, um, quality, we, we can, we can give them our, our product and the certification that goes with it. Right. Um, but more importantly is, you know, once I sell a print, I want to be able to sleep at night and not think about it. You know, I, yeah. I, I get the gratification from the clients and that's it. I, I go to sleep. And then hopefully I don't hear from them for 75 years. <laughs> well, you, want, you, want, you want them to come back and buy more? Um, we, we do, we don't. You know, it's, it's one of those things where in, in business in Singapore and Asia, you know, 
that there's a certain market that, that, that respects and understands um, quality and, and, and that's what we do. We, we provide a quality product um, with, with, I guess, an excellent customer service and a price that matches both of those. Um, yeah. But it's all about value. Um, you know, so, so some people would want the quality product without the service. You know, I don't believe in that. I, I, I bundle it all in and, you know, I put a price on it. And then, you know, and then people who can, I guess, appreciate that then, then purchase from our business. Yes, yes, good. So uh, tell me, who are the people buying your canvases now? Um, it's a mixed bag. Um, I've got one here. And this is what we call in Australia a, a tram scroll. So the tram scroll in the old days or train, train scroll, List the train stations that people would, would, would you know, like, like an MRT map, right? Or in the old days. Um, but nowadays, you know, they, they changed it up a bit. And the, this one here is for my son. So it's all the things that he likes um, when he was a certain age. Um, I've got one for myself, which is black. Um, my wife has one, which is like a pastel pink. And that's one installation on our, our wall at home. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, 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 I guess the application for our, our, our canvas is, is, is endless. Um, but I guess majority of our work now would be um, corporate work, um, whether that be corporate exhibition galleries, um, a lot of corporate fit outs. So, you know, we've got a lot of co-share workspaces. Um, we something, want something a bit more funky, you know, rather than the old um, black and whites. And, you know, yeah, that that's, would make up our, our core business. Hey, Dil, um, bring back, the, can you bring the canvas back up? Bring that um, yeah. Flip it around. There we go. Can you come closer to the camera? Yeah. To show. It's based on a, a wooden frame. That's it. So we, we stretched the canvas over a wooden frame. Um, the timber itself is from Malaysia. Yep. We choose Malaysia, um, Tenganu, because of the climate. So the timber there um, is very suitable for, for Singapore and what we, we use it for here. Now, ex example of why you would do that and not and I guess the, the other option would be to buy a print from, say, IKEA. Now, IKEA is made in China, it's made in you know, Sweden, and the timber is not made for it. So most people who have an IKEA product would know that it would bend or twist or warp within you know, three to six months. Um, basically, you know, not to bag IKEA because I buy a lot of my furniture from there, but I guess it depends on what you're using it for. Now, if you're selling it or reselling it or you want something to last, um, you wouldn't go there. But, you know, most of our, um, I guess, clients resell their, their work or I guess they sell it um, as reproductions of their artwork. Yeah. Um, and they their, 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 their products to last. And with that comes, I guess, you know, the expectation of quality and price. Um, other things is, you know, we've got a nice finish with the taping on the back. Um, we've got a barcoding system. So, you know, any stage throughout the order, uh, our clients can call us up and say, hey, where's our order? And, and we can track it for them. Um, if there's an issue with the print, you know, any time within 75 years, they can just call us um, and we can just bring that back up and just do a reprint. Yeah. Um, something like this, um, in terms of manufacturing time, would be three working days. Um, so it's very fast. Um, Price-wise for something like this, which is maybe 40 by 70, you're looking at about $160. Um, so right. Right. Like yeah. yeah. And I remember that are, the wood for your frame is so strong that it will not bend at all. No, it, it, it doesn't. <laughs> it's part of the things, you know, like I, I don't, like I said, I, I like to sleep at night. So I don't want to go to sleep, you know, with the chance of waking up with a bent frame or a frame that's fallen off the wall or colors that's changed. It's, it's not how I do business. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's, uh, let's go to your website. Let me share your website. Here you go. This is your website. Oh, that's a cool function. Cool. So I'm going to show you something cool. Let's scroll down. So these are the, the products that you do, weddings. Uh, these are the canvases. Yeah. And a lot of fine prints. That was very yeah. nice. So that's one of our latest products, um, the, the diamond mounts, which is the acrylic prints. And something that's taken off very, very fast in the last two years. Right. There's another, is this a canvas print? Um, that's a, a, a new version canvas. So the, the old, you know, not the old days, but you know, when we first started, people liked the canvas and they liked the wrap um, where the image sits on the side. Yep. Um, now people want options, you know, they, they, they want to match their 
from their frame, color frames with their decor and so on. So people become a bit more savvy and more chic. Um, so, you know, we've got to cater to that. And that's why we, uh, we provide this option now. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, like, that's a cute one. That's um, our, our acrylic block. Um, that's been with us for a while, almost a few years after the canvas when we launched in 2008. So that would have been 2010 in Singapore. Right. Um, they, they're tabletop displays, good for offices, good for desks, perfect for gifts. Um, right. I've got one here, actually. I, I could kind of just quickly zoom up. Um, so this is a photo of my brothers and I when we were uh, maybe five and, and my younger brothers were just maybe one or two. Um, so th this image here is, is, is it's more of a keepsake now, but the image is, was, was a scan of an old film photo. Um, right. And we put it on a public block. Um, yeah. well, that's an example of so all people, if they want to have a canvas print, they will send you a high resolution photograph and then you do the necessary. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll evaluate it. Um, no, some people are getting photos from their photographers if they're doing a photo shoot. Um, some people are just giving us photos off their iPhone or their, their Android and we're able to do prints. You can do that uh, quite as well. Definitely, because the quality of cameras on those, these digital phones nowadays are is, is yeah. so, so high. Um, you know, we, we evaluate it because, you know, we want to make sure that our clients have, have a quality pr print and we want to, I guess, do the image justice. So, right. you know, we'll let the customers know if, 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 if we think that, you know, it's, it wasn't going to be, you know, that, that great or even printable. But then again, you know, we always run it past our clients because, you know, sometimes the image is, you know, has sentimental value or, or something that, you know, that they would want to capture and, and print regardless. So, you know, it's part of the process that we, we run through that with our client. Very good. Going through yeah. the media section on, on your website. Mm -hmm. See all I think I'll be there somewhere if you look carefully. Uh, there it is. No, that's Go Digital. That's it. That's my is that you? That's my magazine. Yeah. I did it. Yeah. I made there you go. it for Best Denki. Uh -huh. This is my friend, so my friend's daughter. Yeah. I'm older now. And there <laughs> You should, you should interview her and <laughs> bring her up. That's amazing. 10 years. Yeah. Okay, let me switch back. How have you found working in Singapore, starting your own business? Um, it's, 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 it's a ride. It's, it's been a challenge. Um, something that I, 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 I enjoy very much. Um, I wouldn't trade what I do for anything else. Um, I know I've had, I've had times in family business. I was in banking. Um, you know, and I'm very... Um, exposed to what other um, I guess careers or businesses or jobs there are in this world, especially in Singapore. Um, but, you know, the evolution of what we do as a printing company in Singapore in the last 10 years has kept it interesting. Um, you know, the economic changes, um, market changes. So, so the, you know, that, that helps. How do you find Singapore, um, you know, the environment as, a, as opposed to maybe Australia? Um, completely different. To, to be honest, um, they're very, I guess, laid back in Australia. Um, Singapore, you know, it's very fast paced. It's, it's very, you know, work hard or, or die or, you know, stick out or die. And, and, I, and I enjoy that. Um, I enjoy the competition. I enjoy the business. I enjoy the challenge. Um, and like I said, you know, in, in our conversation before, you know, we're, I'm lucky enough to have a few competitors who have been around with us um, in the industry. And, you know, we know each other, we talk, and, you know, we kind of, it's, it's good for us. It's, it's good for our, um, I guess, our customers, our clients, mm. um, and, of course, for the industry. So, you know, you have that, I guess, that push for excellence. Um, and then you kind of just got to do it, you know? So, yeah. like, otherwise, I'm complacent. And, you know, it's important because, you know, at, at times like this with the circuit breaker, you know, what I like about it um, is that, Afterwards, you know, the, the strongest will survive. Um, the people of excellence will survive. Now, if you're relaxed during the good times, you know, you get to a point like this and it, it filters out a lot of people. Right. Um, and, you know, I'm not saying I'm safe because I, <laughs> if you did the interview in two months, I, I may not even be here. Um, but, you know, it, at least it's fair. You know, it it, it kind of just, like I said, filters people out, but it doesn't distinguish. Um, but it does mean that, you know, if, if you're kind of there doing an okay, job you know not really on point with business um when it comes to the tough times and you know, possibly you, you you will get tested right so, right. so that's that's my view. back to the beginning when you first started your business 11 12 years ago mm -hmm. what were the the main challenges to you starting up 
Um, I guess at the time, there's many challenges. Um, little things like technology, you know, like, like we're Zooming now. Back when I first started my business um, in Singapore, you know, to, to talk to my business partner, like, there was no Zoom. You know, we had to dial up cards where you had to scratch to make those calls. There was no video time. There was no WhatsApp. Every message cost money. Um, so that, that was a technology, technology challenge. Um, challenge in terms of entering a market where there was an opportunity because you were different or the product was new. Um, that meant education. So you know, had a lot of resources and, and um, time you know, and, and money. And it's just going out meeting people and, and trying to educate them, sell them you know, and, and a product that, you know, that benefits them that they weren't aware of. Um, and moving from there, you know, once you start a business that's kind of trending and doing well, you'll have competitors or people trying to claim to do what you're doing, you know. So, yeah, it, it's, there's a lot of that. And, you know, it's, it's part of doing business in Asia, and, and that's the culture. Um, and for me, once again, that's, that's, that's a good challenge. Right. Um, yeah. So, and, yeah, market markets changed. The economy went up and down. We started 2008, and there was a GFC. Um, and then you know, beyond that, there are changes in, in, in different industries. The photography industry changed for a bit. Um, we started doing a lot of um, exhibition work, and there's been some changes. And an example is now with the, with the, you know, um, the, with the virus crisis um, and the economy crisis that goes with that. Um, you know, we, we, we're writing that one out as well. Um, but, you know, like, well, I've always said that in, in times of crisis, uh, I guess what I like is it filters out a lot of people and a lot of businesses. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, like during the good times when everything is easy, you know, if you become too complacent or too lax, um, you don't really test yourself. You don't really stretch. You don't really, you know, you're not forced to, to, to be better. Yeah. Um, and during times like this, um, you know, it, it filters out. And I'm not saying that myself or my business is safe, but what I can say is that afterwards you'll be left with a group of excellence. Now, you know, I have, I guess I'm very fortunate that a few of my competitors who are also friends um, have been in the industry, you know, in the last 10 years with us. Um, and we, we push each other, you know, I come up with a product, they come up with a product, you know, and sometimes different, but we kind of understand where we all are and we kind of push each other. Uh, and, and that's beneficial for us and our personal growth, um, beneficial to our teams um, or, I guess, business stability. Um, but more, most importantly, it's probably our clients. You know, you, our clients, you know, they can build their businesses on, on the back of our business. You know, we, we're not, you know, fly through. We're going to be here. You know, we, we, we're going to support them. Um, and, you know, so they can make business decisions, life decisions based on what we do. And then and that, that goes beyond just you know, selling a canvas print. Um, so you know, it's just a couple of fundamentals that, you know, that, that I've probably instilled in myself um, while being in Singapore over the last 11 years. Um, right. But uh, now we have the uh, circuit breaker. So and all production would have stopped in your shop. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. So how um, does it affect you or how do you plan now to move forward when the circuit breaker eventually lifts? Um, I guess you know, we, it, was, it was challenging because, you know, we were aware of it and we had plans in place. But to be honest, I don't think anyone in this world would have planned for what's going on. Um, it was very frustrating and stressful at the, you know, before we got into the circuit breaker because, you know, we were looking at, you know, putting measures in place, we're putting risk assessment. Um, but things were so fluid. They're changing every day, right? So, you know, you'll spend two days stressing about something and then the answer would be given by someone else or the answer would be removed. So the option would be removed. So then it was a mindset thing. And that was, you know, to, for myself and my team was for us to be fluid. And, and, and it is stressful. Um, to get back to what you're saying is the answer is that um, we are closed down for the circuit breaker. Um, we're fortunate enough to be able to set up a server, a server room and give the, I guess, the customer facing staff or team um, access to, to work remotely from home. Um, right. So that means inquiries, um, promotion sales, um, orders from our clients are still happening. Right. Um, so we're still, uh, I guess, available and, and there for our clients. Um, and then we just kind of just, I guess, take the orders and just just put it on a list. And then once we open, we just, just smash Keep. it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> what about your machines? You have, how many printers do you have right now? Um, at the moment, we've got 
three, um, we, we just switched to Canon. Um, not that I'm you know, like pushing Canon, but after 11, 10, no, nine years of um, Epson, um, we, we finally went to Canon. So. Well, so what made you change to Canon? Um, it, it was just a no-brainer, really. So the, 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 the machines were cheaper, um, the running costs was cheaper, the maintenance was cheaper. Right. Um, it, the, the, the efficiency of, of, of even using the ink, the, the cost of ink cartridges. Mm. So it was a technology thing from, from Canon. Um, the, the color gamut was a lot better, so the output was a lot better. So, you know, in, in terms of um, support, Canon in Singapore was a lot better as well. Right. Um, so it was a no-brainer. Um, Very you know, we switched to Canon in Australia three years back, you know, and at that point I was still brand loyal to, to Epson, and, you know, they're, they're, they're great. I, I know the team and, you know, the, the product's a little bit behind. But the service is great. Um, but for me, you know, um, once I had the time and you know, and, and the resources to, to change, um, it was it was a no brainer. Did you leave the printers plugged in whilst you're on this one month uh, circuit breaker? Pardon? Did you leave the printers plugged in for this one? Yes, um, they're, they're plugged in now. It was a, it was a scary thought because in Australia, depending on where you're living, you, you weren't allowed in, into your your office space. Yeah. Um, in Singapore, if you're the owner of the business, um, which is myself, um, you're allowed to go in for housekeeping. Mm. Um, you know, so when they announced the, the circuit breaker on a Friday, I was stressing because I wasn't sure. Because, you know, as you know, with print printers, if you leave them idle, the print heads kind of clog up and then and you know, the money to come up and running again. So I, I called Canon and I called Canon for ideas and they couldn't give me any because you know, they didn't plan for this, right? Um, but in the end, the announcement was if you're the business owner, yeah, you can get housekeeping, and that's what I do every second third day. Right. So I get to do the clean, the nozzle check, and then yeah. Yeah, because I remember when I had my Canon Canon large format printer, just if I leave it on plugged in, it automatically cleans the plug the cartridge heads by itself. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can do certain things with, I guess, the remote setup and so on. But you know, we we had so many things going on with our business. You know, so it's just it's just ridiculous time. Yeah. But you know, we're we're we're, we're in good good place. Um, everything's in place, and uh, we're still ticking. Um, so we're good. we're good. Okay, good. So how do people buy from uh, Brilliant Print? Um, easiest way is to, to go online. Um, if you're, I guess, aware and understand of what we do and, yeah. and, and, and I guess the elements of the products, um, our, we've spent a lot of time and money building an online ordering system. So yep. what that means, regardless of which product, you can upload the image, you can choose your crop, choose your borders, um, and, and, and they'll give you like a mock-up um, mm. example. Right. Um, second to that would be, I guess, what, I would prefer anyway, because um, I love, like talking to people. And I guess, I think being at our gallery um, and touching and feeling our products would, does it more justice. Um, and seeing a variety of options, you know, like the number of people that come to our gallery to buy canvas and end up walking away with three other things. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's because, you know, of that, I guess that education, I guess setting examples um, by, by, by you know, displaying what, we, what our other things we have. Yeah. And, now, a lot of it is, you know, like I go to a friend's house, example, and they've got a canvas print, and that's what I see, that's what I want. But as soon as you step into our gallery space, you know, you're kind of like, okay, well, there's a, <laughs> a thousand ideas will come to you. Like, I, I could have a credit block, I can have an album, there's so many different options. Um, so, you know, it, it depends on, because well, each person, so, so some people are more technical and they understand, some who aren't, uh, but regardless, you know, we're, we're here to help. Um, and it's always a pleasure to, to help our clients. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, why, why don't we do something? We spoke about getting some kind of discount to our, mm -hmm. our viewers because everybody watches this podcast. <laughs> so what can we do for them? Um, I guess I, I, I got to give them something to entice them to come in. And, and, and that's, that's what it is. Um, I don't know. Let, let, let's, let's give them 20%. Let's, let's 20% off your first, first order with us. Um, and then maybe off any products. So you're, you're getting, you know, an already great value product um, at, at a further discounted price. Okay. So, uh, let's, do, can let's do that. And uh, <laughs> uh, now, Dylan, I, I want to ask you some rapid fire questions. Just okay, go, okay. the first thing that comes to your head, okay? Okay, let's do this. Okay. All right, David. Fire. Fire. Age. 
Um, 41, I think. Name? Dylan, Dylan Bo. Height? Um, 173. Okay. Shoes. I'm 172 now. I've got a haircut, so 172. All right. That shoe size. Um, Nike's ten and a half. Adidas ten. Okay. Uh, favorite food. Um, right now, um, tuna. Tuna is my favorite right now. Good. Uh, favorite color. Um, blue. blue. And what show are you watching on Netflix? Um. <laughs> Um, what is it? It's, it's Morphle. It's, it's, it's what my son's watching. I, I have a Netflix account, but I, I don't use it. That's great. Well, thanks very much, Dylan. I think uh, that's really good. It's really good to talk to you from Hawaii during the circuit breaker. Um, and I'll talk to you again soon. And I hope you have a really good time. And good for your business when the circuit breaker is over. Thank you, David, for um, giving me the opportunity to talk to you and, and, and your followers. Um, thank you for make, keeping my brain ticking. Um, it, was, it was great to, to hear from you and have you reach out. Um, and I wish you the best you know, in all that you do. Um, and, uh, and for your colleagues, you know, hit, hit me up. Um, discount code AGENT20 or something. Um, we'll, you, we'll confirm that. Um, <laughs> and we'll go from there. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Thank you. Cheers.